fix the hair position for when I wake up on camera. <laughs> Just kidding. Good morning, my beautiful internet friend. I literally woke up like this, not ironically. I have gotten a lot of requests for a day in the life of an amputee, what my days actually look like, and heck, why not? Sound like a fun idea, and I'm at home today, and I actually am kind of like sick and don't feel awesome, so I figured this would be a great idea. Now, first question, why am I waking up on the couch? Like, did I do something terrible? Was I kicked out of the doghouse? That might be the wrong phrase, but no, actually, Brian and I sleep down on the couch when my leg is bad. Last night, it was really not feeling well. We got home from the Avengers premiere, which was awesome, no spoilers, and my little nub in here was killing me and so I needed to ice and elevate and so I got all set up on the couch to do that and he just slept down here with me which was super sweet of him to do. First thing any warm-blooded Joe does is get some coffee. Good messy bun, never hurt anybody. So every night I set our coffee pot here to go off at 8 a.m. Um, I sleep in a little bit now because I cannot sleep, so I'm just awake for hours and hours a night. So I slept in a little bit this morning, which I hate doing. I feel so not productive when I wake up, like, after eight. But I also need to sleep, and my work can be done whenever I need to do it. I felt that way too full. So now that I have my coffee, I'll return back downstairs, but real quick, I wanna note something. This eye walk, has really helped me. I'm not sponsored at all to say that. First thing when I wake up in the morning, I'm a couple things. I'm usually in pain and I'm out of breath and I'm dizzy. The out of breath and dizzy and in pain actually aren't due to my leg at all. They're due to other chronic conditions that I have. So before to get downstairs or upstairs because the living room is downstairs and the bedroom is upstairs and the kitchen is in the middle, I'd have to brave the stairs on crutches. Trying to carry anything would be dangerous as I'm dizzy and out of breath and don't feel good. Now that I can actually kind of walk with the eye walk, it makes things a lot safer and a lot easier um, where I can actually like go get breakfast and make some coffee and uh, yeah it's really helped so I will return to the couch with my coffee to begin my day all right some real quick whoops leg keeping things before we move on so I've slept with this thing on all night which is called a shrinker which is basically a really tight sock usually in the morning I will take that off and kind of let it just air out let my leg actually breathe the clean air I realize that this is probably not great for productivity but this is an honest day in the life so this is just where I am right now when I get my coffee, come back, sit down, I will probably watch a YouTube video or two before I actually dive into like the good stuff of the day. Right now my favorites to watch as I'm sipping coffee and waking up are Kaylin Nicholson, Gus Johnson, and Michelle B. Very different creators. Let's actually start the day now. So the next thing that I'll do is get set up with a heating pad. Because like I said, I do not feel great in the morning and heat usually helps that. And then I spend a few minutes every day reading this. So stoicism is a philosophy and I really like it because it's all about really understanding what we're in control of and what we're not in control of and separating emotion from logic and figuring out how to make decisions, really seeking to understand ourselves and be in control of the things we're in control of, which is very few things, mostly just ourselves. <laughs> Alright guys, the time has come to turn this into something more socially presentable. I'm just kidding, I'm actually not leaving the house today, so there's no such thing as socially presentable. And also, this is perfectly socially presentable, however, I am going to go do my makeup and my hair a little bit because it helps me feel more put together. I notice that like when I actually wash my face or maybe do my makeup or you know do something with my hair aside from throw it up in a messy bun, maybe, maybe not. I actually get more done, I'm more productive, I'm able to focus better because I've taken some time to actually take care of myself. So let's do that. So here we are in my laundry room. So most of my clothes live here right now because it's a lot easier than actually carting them up two floors. I get dressed in the laundry room, then I get ready in our tiny little, like, laundry room bathroom. That's not a thing. The bathroom downstairs. So because of the whole missing leg situation, I have a stool here that I always balance my leg on. If you don't know, I have a prosthetic leg. We'll get to that in a second. But I can't actually use it more than, like, a minute at a time right now, and I can't actually put my full weight on it. So, um, so I just balance on this little puppy here and get my face done. I was listening to a podcast of some kind, and right now I'm listening to School of Greatness by Lewis Howes, a really good podcast, like a lot of different guests. I also really like Getting Curious by Jonathan Van Ness. I mean, I said no more messy bones, but 
that's what we're gonna go with for today. But we'll add a headband to feel pretty. I know some people have asked me like what I do for my makeup. It's real simple. If anyone's super interested, comment and I'll like post what products I use, but I'm by no means a makeup person. Um, I just kind of enjoy it. It's fun sometimes. Now let's get some work done. So let's practice some walking. I'm gonna grab some water first, but what I need to do essentially now is practice walking with my prosthetic leg. I actually picked this up two days ago. Oh God, I almost fell. All right, we're good, we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, suit up, put this on, and we're gonna do a, a workout this morning. All right. So I've actually got pretty fast, pretty fast, I've gotten pretty fast at getting this puppy off and on, but here's essentially what I have to do. This is a liner. This is what actually goes on my leg. First of all, I turn it inside out. The inside is like aloe vera and it actually feels nice on your skin. I'm not doing a great job of demonstrating how fast I am. It's stuck. So this is like a silicone skin lotion, which I use to make sure that it doesn't rub too much. This little Pac-Man looking thing I put right here on my leg. It's to help like offload some of the pressure because it's still super painful. I had surgery six months ago, I had another surgery about three weeks ago, and I got my leg, like I said, two days ago, and so it's still pretty sensitive. So we're still trying to figure out kind of the right way to make this not hurt so much. Right now, I actually just put my leg in my leg. That sounds weird. Generally, there's gonna be like another liner that comes off over everything over the outside of my leg, but it's so tight right now that we actually don't need that. I just remembered I forgot my shoe. <laughs> oh well. So I'm not the smartest person alive. I need my crutches located over there to walk now that I actually have my leg on. Hopping it is. So my assignment today is to practice walking back and forth, hoping to keep it looking like as natural as possible, not walking too weird for as long as I can. It's probably only gonna be a couple minutes, but I'm hoping to get uh, maybe up to like three or four, which is a little longer than I could do yesterday. Together we'll be free. It's not This actually feels pretty good today, guys. Like, it's not bad. Yeah, anyways. I won't push it too far, but I'm gonna push a little further. Pausing my walking, I just got a work phone call. Be right back. Hey, this is Jordan. I think I just missed a call from you. Sorry about that. Are they in like CSV format or something like that? I'll get right on that. Thanks, bye. Well, practice got interrupted, so we are gonna move this train upstairs and actually start work because something came up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take off my leg because it is starting to kind of hurt a little bit. I've kept it on for like seven minutes though, so that's like double the time of yesterday. I'm gonna I'm gonna call that good for now. I'll actually try this again later today, see how it feels then. In a perfect world, I would do this like three or four times a day right now, just as tolerated, but it's really important that I don't like really aggravate it right now because we don't want to send me spiraling backwards. So let's get to work. So, by the way, I can walk backwards on my eye walk. Yes, I feel accomplished. Sometimes I like coming up to the main level to actually get some work done. It makes me feel like, you know, I don't know, it's just better than sitting on the sofa all day. So I'm gonna get something to eat and then start. Just as long as friends and family sing along. And I don't need more money or a faster car, no. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, no. Gonna take this little house and make a home And then I'll never have to face my nights alone Cause in my heart I hate Spain And on my face I feel you breathe next to me So it's a few hours later now. I'm gonna go ahead and move downstairs to continue working. Generally I have a desk that I work at like a normal working person here at home, but it's not comfortable to sit there just yet. We need coffee, don't we? Now this late in the day, we make the good kind of coffee. French press. I was introduced to French press coffee not that long ago, and it's changed my afternoons. Does anyone else love coffee this much? 
I legitimately feel like it's a gift. Like I'm so grateful for it literally every day. Yeah, anyways, moving on now. So I got a lot of logistical stuff done last couple hours. Now I'm gonna attend to a lot of conversational things like replying to lots of emails and eventually I'll dive into some YouTube stuff. It is definitely a dream of mine to do YouTube eventually full time combined with public speaking full time, but that's not the situation right now. And so I dedicate a chunk of my day towards progressing that, but a lot of my day is spent working on my normal job. Is that loud enough? So I'm basically constantly eating throughout the day. Like it's hard to find me without a snack somewhere nearby. I have trouble eating full meals just because that usually makes me feel sick. So I just realized it probably looks like Quaker is sponsoring this. I assure you they are not. Time is now 2.38 in the afternoon, which means it's time for me to take a quick break from work. And I am actually gonna do some looking for a date night online for us. Not you and me, for my husband and I. And a site that I love to use is Groupon. That's so good. Now, Groupon is a site that I've actually used for a really long time to find great deals on products and services in the area. I usually just use it to find like events to go to. I've been able to go to things like spas and couple massages, wine tasting events and ballroom dancing. And there are a lot of options and things that I never would have done otherwise. So I'm gonna take the next few minutes to go through Groupon and find something for us to go do this weekend. If you click the link down in the description, that is actually a referral code, which means that I will get a little bit of a kickback and you will get access to really cool deals. It's not just events. I just like using the event section. There's also deals on clothing and all kinds of online stores and all different kinds of things. So definitely check it out. Date night bot, I hope he likes it. I'm actually gonna hop on Instagram live right now to chat with you guys. So I always get a little bit nervous before going live. I'm always like, what if I run out of things to talk about or what if I say something stupid? But sometimes I do run out of things to say and sometimes I do say something stupid. I think that's just part of uh, how it works. <laughs> oh, also, uh, I'm actually in the process of filming like a day in the life video because that was requested a lot. Do you guys wanna be a part of it? There you are. So this is everybody on Instagram being a part of, uh, of the day in the life video. So since this is an actual day in the life video, this makes sense. As I've mentioned before, I have chronic pain and chronic migraine. I was about to go head upstairs and hang out with my little raddies. They're so cute. Try to spend some time with them at the end of my work day, let them go run around, but then my head decided to do what it does. So I don't get migraines like people usually get migraines. It's not like always piercing, piercing pain. Like so dizzy and nauseous and I can't think straight and there is also a lot of pain and like sensitivity to light, not really sound ever. Um, and I get really hot too, which is weird, hence the change. Also, dog walks are my happy hour. This is a very real day in the life. It's not like terrible right now, but I can feel it starting and if I don't stop it, it will just keep going. So, like pull all the shades, turn off all the lights that I can, shut my computer screen, um, and lay down with heating pad on. So there's like heat on the back of my head, the back of my neck, because that's often where it originates and hope that it goes away. This happens in varying degrees, like three to seven days a week, um, but thankfully they usually don't last. Um, I have meds I take for it too, or if I don't, or if it just doesn't want to respond that day, it'll last like, like through the night into the next morning, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this and do what I need to do to rest. I'll be back hopefully soon, because I have a thing to go to tonight that I'm supposed to get ready for, but, but I can't do it if I'm like this, which is why I end up canceling on a lot of people often, which I feel bad for, but that's just how it goes sometimes. So I still feel pretty crappy, but the kitties have graced us with their presence. They make my heart feel better, even if it doesn't help my head too much. Cakes, gonna keep your mommy company, gonna help me feel better. I think my head is starting to ease up a little bit, which is good news. Um, I'm gonna keep my eyes closed for another 30 minutes or so and then try to get up and take a shower maybe. Brian got home from work a little while ago. He uh, often finds me curled up on the couch like this because the migraines like will usually hit around the same time every day. It just depends on the day but this one is not getting horrible and uh, I can feel it like starting to leave. <sighs> All right, we're three hours from initial migraine inception. I am doing okay now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower that usually helps to kind of like finish loosening things up and hopefully I'll be good to go tonight. So showers, I usually take one in the morning. I totally skipped that this morning, but they are a little bit difficult, not difficult, but just different missing a leg. So generally I would just like stand up in the shower like anybody else, but I have to sit down in a chair to shower because balancing on one leg is like way too scary and dangerous. So I have like the shower head hanging down there and then everything else is uh, kind of right within reach. Shower complete. Now it is time to turn this into 
into this. So there's one final consideration before going out and this kind of applies any day. So I have the eye walk, which is like the standing crutch and then I have crutches that I use since my prosthetic leg is not in working order just yet. So we're going out to dinner and then a show with friends tonight. And so it's always a decision which one to bring because the eye walk definitely still hurts my leg a little bit, but it's so much easier to use. Like if we're gonna be walking around for a little while or doing stuff, I can keep up with people a lot easier if I'm on the eye walk but it's definitely more difficult to store and it's harder to get up and get down. We're gonna be sitting and then standing and sitting and standing. I can't put it on and off like I can just pick up crutches, but tonight because of the situation, I decided to go ahead and bring the eye walk. That is pretty much the day to day. I don't live a very thrilling life, but I'm uh, super grateful for the life that we have, the friends that we have and being able to live here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the day in the life of a semi-functional amputee and I appreciate you spending your time here with me. Also, side note, it's now four and a half hours after my migraine started. It was not bad today. I was able to keep it under control and it's pretty much all gone now, which I'm so grateful for because it looks like I'll be able to have a good, a good time with my friends tonight. So I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have heard from the sky.